And North Korea's latest string of provocations seems to have proved the world that it has mastered even the most advanced missile technology. But U.S. experts say the regime probably has not perfected reentry capability for its ICBMs, at least during its second test. Amid all that, evidence of continued tests of submarine launch missile systems looms out of the regime. Kim Minji has more. It appears North Korea has yet to master the reentry capability needed for a usable intercontinental ballistic missile. The ICBM launched on Friday flew about 1,000 kilometers before crashing off the coast of Japan's northernmost island, Hokkaido. 38 North, the U.S. based North Korea monitoring site, says video footage taken by Japanese broadcaster NHK shows the missile's re entry vehicle shedding small radiant objects at an altitude of four or five kilometers before dimming and disappearing, suggesting that it failed to survive the extreme heat and pressure of re entering the atmosphere. 38 North went on to say that had the missile survived the rigors of re entry, the footage would have shown it continuing to glow. It added that further testing by the North could enable it to deploy an operational ICBM next year. The reclusive state also seems to be working on its submarine-launched ballistic missiles. CNN cited a U.S. defense official on Monday who said that the U.S. has detected evidence that North Korea conducted yet another ejection test for a submarine-launched ballistic missile. An ejection test examines a missile's co-launch system, which initially propels the missile into the air before its engines kick in. In light of North Korea's growing provocations, the U.S. says it will test launch an unarmed Minuteman III ICBM on Wednesday local time from its Vanderburg Air Force Base in California. The test will examine the weapon system's effectiveness, accuracy and readiness. Kim Minji, Arirang News.